Hey, up honey, a new incredible chiptune soundtrack just dropped. This is Beyond the Long Night. This is a sponsored segment. Thank you to Yogscast Games for the sponsorship. It just dropped today on Steam. It is a charming twin stick roguelite. I think you may have noticed we played some of those in the past ourselves. Um, exclamation point Beyond the Long Night, and you can check it out for yourself in... Uh, in chat, you can check out a link there, or if you're watching on YouTube, of course, uh, the description below the video player. Let's start a new adventure. You have unfinished business, loading. Me, when I take a, a four minute bathroom break, when I said I was gonna take a three minute bathroom break. <laughs> Immaculate vibes so far. Deep within the dark mountain, Another explorer rests in a dimly lit grotto. Which vessel shall you be occupying on your journey tonight? Uh, I'll take the explorer's hat. It's the standard vessel for exploring the dark mountain. The long night stretches far before you. Our songs dance along the mountain trail in pure harmonic motion. Follow us unless you wish to dance forever. No, that happened to a town in Europe once, right? That was a real problem. I think that was, we shouldn't make jokes about that. It was a real tragedy. Okay, WASD to move around. I'm gonna guess left click is gonna, is gonna shoot here. He's absolutely right. Left click to shoot. We've opened the treasure chest. We've received 19 gems. Whoops, I've clicked off the screen. I have encountered a... I, I cannot make it through this. I'm unstoppable. I, or I, I can't be saved, rather. Okay, first you gotta get through there. <laughs> Hang on, now I've, I've, I've clicked on chat. Hang on, what's it? Now chat's all, like, uh, lit up, and someone was saying $19 Fortnite card, who wants it? Right click, of course, will dodge. I mean, it's the easiest dodge in the world. Equip item by scrolling and then left click to throw, okay. New equipable item. Wake up, honey, new equipable item just dropped. Left click will, will shoot our new equipable item. I'm gonna guess you want us to shoot it at this torch. Am I missing something? Hang on, take all the torches. They're like, surely you don't need this many attempts to do it. <laughs> Can I light the torch? Please? Line her up, line her up. <laughs> oh, there we go. You just do it this way. Okay, never mind. I honestly thought I just failed the tutorial. I was very embarrassed with myself. Pickles. Oh, welcome, Explorer. Planning a trip to the overworld, are we? Before you stands the Dark Mountain, a subterranean world full of monsters and treasures. And beyond that, far, far above this underground kingdom, a land not bound by walls or darkness, skies stretching further than the eye can see, a place we call the overworld. It's there where you seek a fuller life, yes? So what say ye, traveler? Are you ready for the long and dangerous road ahead? You bet I am. I mean, did you see how I bodied the tutorial? So glad my little pep talk gave you a boost. Everybody needs a little encouragement before they start the big journey upwards. It's not often I meet new explorers in this neck of the woods. At least I think you're new. I find it so difficult to remember these days. Where should I go? I'd start by heading upwards. Hey, perhaps your map can help guide you there? Keep referring to that map if you get lost. Unlikely, I have kind of a preternatural uh, sense of direction. That superpower should help you fend off any beasties that get in your way. You best stop jabbering to me and get a move on. I mean, uh, you asked, brother. Well, okay, or all right. Spikes right off the bat. I'm not scared. We kill an enemy. We, we body the treasure chest. I'm very familiar with this style of game design. We kill a bee. Just like we're um, ghost face killer. And we are, we're cruising for now. We got a little Isaac style map in the top. I mean, for now, I find myself unconcerned with these foes. Never mind, I've lost a balloon. It's Mario Kart battle style HP. But look at the loot, man. And look at the torches. I thought maybe I could equip the mushroom as well. Take me down again. 
Miss Legendary Balloon. It's all right, I'm not sweating it. We'll figure it out in time. I've broken your treasure chest and received more HP. Oh, are you the curious type too? Can you sense the power in this place? Gosh, to think my pilgrimage is complete. It feels as if you're on like six rooms past the, the start. Do you really think this could be the place? Sarah's resting grounds, the eye of the storm. What an honor to finally be in their presence. Can you point me towards the overworld? It's the highest point of the dark mountain. Well, best not to think about it. We are both the curious type, I suppose. Perhaps I can guide you to the forbidden temple. All right. Perhaps you could guide me to the for forbidden temple for all I know. Seems we've got a, quite a lot of question marks. Take me out. Everybody's talking like a Dark Souls NPC. It's, and it's scaring me. Well, you found me, have you? <laughs> I don't suppose you could tell me the result of the football match. <gasps> nah, it's all hopeless down here. <laughs> I would like to get this treasure chest. That requires us to open that door. I don't think I can open that door. Um, so I believe I am trapped in this room. I don't think there is anything I can do to get in there. I'm stuck. I need a special power. There's, there's Metroidvania elements, I'm told. Like, for example, we can't just kill this dude's cows and take the treasure chest. Come to marvel at me, famous motivational animals, have we? Best pick me up in the Dark Mountain when your dumps be getting you down. Is this a, a Nicki Minaj song? Well, I'm afraid you'll be keeping them dumps of yours for now. Farm's falling on hard times. Lately, they've been getting all cranky. Started refusing to speak to outsiders. Say they're all sick of being cooped up here. Why, it's utter filth, I tell you. I were thinking of sprucing this farm up a bit. Give a little party to lift their spirits. Might convince them to stick around. Sure, I'll donate a thousand gems? Are you crazy? I can't afford a thousand gems right now. I just I just got started. I'm not very liquid right now. I'm stuck. In this economy? Similarly, I'm like, I don't I don't think I can make it through here either. I think I'm gonna get hit by the spikes. I think I'm stuck. I gotta go to some of these other question marks. It does have a, a Noida vibe for sure. Is there like a word for the art style? I was gonna call it like uh, Lemmings Dirt. Excuse me, I did miss a legendary sword. <laughs> Discovered new superpower, Bullet Storm. Unleash a barrage of high damage projectiles. Crazy mode. I would like to go to the left, please. Let me guess, new superpower? Flaming skin, level one. When you touch an enemy, burn any enemies that are close by. Upgrades are stackable. He went back for it? I mean, one thing you gotta know about me. I'm kind of a completionist. So... If I miss something, there's a good shot that I'm going to go back for it. Look at this. We got too much HP. Let's light the torch here. Lighting the torch has opened the doors for us. I'm actually insane. Oh, we got to do it in, in record time, though. Unless... One of these days, I'm going to make that work. Okay, ready? Skirt. Oh, okay, okay, we can get down to this one, and then I see, I see. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I thought it was going to be... You're right, dash me, dash me. Okay, give me this. Dash me. Dash me, shoot me. Excuse me, yeah, 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 he's crazy. Choose one, undiscovered, undiscovered, undiscovered. Bullets explode on impact. Type bullet, upgrade effects are stackable. Bullets explode on impact. Impact that. Now I'm free. 
And you thought that I didn't have the sauce. Well, I bet you're feeling mighty embarrassed right now. As am I. Okay, we can go up in the other room. Developers, 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 developers. And then we got to figure out how to make the... You know what? You shoot this, it opens up a door. You shoot this, it opens up the door. The walls are shaking. The earth was quaking. My mind was aching. We were making it and you shook me all night long. Something has awoken beneath the dark mountain. Three shots. You're smoked. Thanks for the gems. I need a thousand of them. Thanks for the torches. One day I'll figure out how to use them appropriately. A single shot kills a bee. This might be the strongest run that's ever happened. I mean, you it, do what you gotta do here. But I'm telling you, you will not do damage to me. I'm too strong. Two shots kills a bug. Let me grab your loot. Watch this. I mean, listen. No other streamer would dare accomplish this, okay? Oh, can you imagine, though? Oh, the light attracted the bee. The light attracted the bee. Not that we'd really need uh, any help taking out the bees right now, but, like, we're, we're learning mechanics as we go. Calculated. I mean, I, I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor to kill me. Or maybe you're just like natural, like you're on, um, on aggroed natural fauna. And I am basically destroying the environment right now. Did you see this? Secret me? Secret me? Dodge parry, level one. Your dodge will deflect enemy projectiles. The projectile will be modified by your bullet upgrades and multiplied by the level of this upgrade. You're immune while dodging. Oh, baby. New equipable item. It's a little bird. Send them. Look at him. Look at him. He's crazy. He did nothing. Hello? Hi? Toot toot. Woo hoo. What a sumptuous tweet for the ears. That was a mighty fine tune I heard tweeted from here. Well, I'd never guessed such a delicate bird song could be performed by a gangly lumbering being such as yourself. Oh my manners. How they've scarpered. Let me introduce myself. I'm a wanderer, you see. I've been wandering the dark mountain for many nights here. You have some of the finest vocal pipes I've ever heard tooted. He doesn't know. That's just because I had chili for lunch. Now then, perhaps there's something I may do for you. Oh, so it's a, a, it's a mobile shop vendor. I don't want to buy any of this stuff because I'm, I'm cash poor right now. I'm not very liquid. Go ahead. Uh, shoot some bullets at me. I'll dodge through them and then deflect them back at you. Oh, nice try. You've fallen off the map and you've fallen off. That's all that needs to be said. Get owned. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. I'm crazy with it. Are you hearing what's coming from this room? Is it? No, that was just the... Oh! That was just the shop vendor. Holy cow. Oh, it's... This room's psychotic, man. The heck is this? It's just a guy? Increase superpower ammo. All right, superpower. I remember those. Nice try. <laughs> I made it. Oh! <laughs> I lost all my HP on the same room, dude. It's because my dodge cooldown was so much longer as a result of the dodge upgrade that I got. Okay, new run me. New run me. I'm actually ready to go now. New face cam placement. Don't be shy. Tell me the, the geographic coordinates. Round and round we dance entwined. 
are cycled together, forever captured in each other's orbit. The dark mountain beckons once more into the long night with the explorer's hat. That's over the mini-map. Okay, put me down here then. Wonder if the there's got to be something relevant with the uh, the balloon color. Uh, any more superpowers you can give me? Go bananas! What do you got for me? Shield generator. Generate a shield that wears off. Recharging your superpower will extend the life of the shield. That's where my subway surfers was. I was laughing, I saw someone tweet, I think it was like a, a YouTuber's editor, and they tweeted, I put Subway Surfers in the corner of like my client's most recent video, and uh, viewer retention was 70% after 10 minutes. It's like, it's, it might be stupid, but if it works, it works. I do, at some point, I have to question if you feel good about like the slow erosion of society's ability to focus, but also at the same time, maybe that's not your problem. Maybe I should do it, but I'll, I'll have like, um, instead of subway surfers in the corner, I'll have like a, a little picture in picture of me slowly reading through Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. And then like over the course of a thousand episodes of Super Auto Pets, you will also have uh, digested the entirety of one of the most important works of like Russian literature. You, you, th you see three stones within the monument. I can't, afford, uh, I can't afford this yet, but maybe we'll come back. Unfortunately, that also means I have to read um, Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. And I read... Uh, I read Notes from Underground. That's only like, I don't know, 250 pages long. And I hated just about every second of it, so. And I gotta read it out loud. I, I tried to dodge. I was just, uh, I'm not your dodge. I knew your dodge. You could get an AI voice to do it. I don't support uh, artificial intelligence. I, I don't even support like organic intelligence, quite frankly. Okay, no, 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 we're not. Got to find a way to, to do this. Maybe I can use a torch to burn vines. Oh! Smartest streamer on the platform? Go ahead. Make my day. You know what? I don't even need to go in here. I'm gonna, but I don't need to. I got my HP back and I deserve to. You know what? Beautiful room for a shield. Never mind. The shield lasted for an eighth of a second. I, there, you, have to, you have to charge it. It's a channeled ability. You might, much like Nature's Prophet's uh, teleportation in uh, Dota 2, it's a channeled ability. Lasts for a very long time. I can't stress enough. The music is, is incredible. You already know the vibe. Give me this, please. There's one B. What's up with the false hope for Dota 2? I don't know. Ask your brain what the false hope for Dota 2 is. I've told you. This is the, Dota 2 is not going to happen. I reference a lot of things I uh, will never return to in my life. Can I pick you up? Like, I could reference um, the fact that Netflix broke from trying to serve live video for the first time uh, in, in their entire service's existence. They tried to do the live finale for Love is Blind and broke the entire uh, app. I've, I have seen one episode of Love is Blind and then I said I'd, I don't have a lot of self-respect but I got too much self-respect to watch any more of this show. They did a Chris Rock live comedy special. Yeah, but I was talking about something that people like actually watch. Like if they did a Chris Rock comedy special in uh, 2001, 
would have broke the servers. They would have needed to get new servers. With a Chris Rock comedy special in 2023. Oh, oh, oh! The world's smartest gamer strikes again. Nice try. Well, well, well. Thanks for solving the puzzle for me. Discovered new upgrade, Body Slam. Dodge attack that deals damage to any enemies you touch. Hold the dodge button to charge, then release it to perform. Delightful. Solving Zelda puzzles? I was blessed that the game solved that puzzle for me. Because I don't know if I would have gotten there. <laughs> you know what? Get ready to get smoked. I wonder if we could ricochet them like into the environment and, and do more damage. This definitely seems like a secret uh, room. Excuse me, this definitely seems like a secret room. I'm going to burn this tree up. Maybe the secret room, if you'll excuse me. Maybe the secret room is right here. Okay, okay. Keep You keep your secrets then. He read my message so he doesn't hate me even though I made the dredge joke. I don't hate any chatters. Like, I, I might hate some of the things you say. But as like an individual, I don't know anything about you. For the most part. I mean, I know that Macros is Australian, but I don't hold it against him. Thank you. You're welcome. Much? No, I mean... Yeah, I, I have to keep on Macros' good side because he's the only guy who knows the Corey Worthington video. Take your glasses off, Corey. Nar. Why not? They're famous. Give me a second here. I'm just, I'm just thinking how I'm going to get through this. Obviously, we could just go down first. You ever seen the waiting for a mate video? Is that on YouTube? I don't think I know that one. Waiting for a mate. It is. Holy cow, the uh, undodgeable shot. Now on this room, this is where you gotta be smart. We're gonna play a little pinball here. I'm gonna put a shield on. I'm feeling like I just killed uh, Roll Armadillo and I'm bouncing enemies into other enemies. My shield broke when I did it, that's okay. A red, a red insect, I should have known. I should have known. Takes a little extra sauce. It was my first time out. Good to know you didn't hold it against me. Honestly, I think a mod did it. Which, I mean, should scare you because the mods are much more likely to hold grudges than me. The new thing, every week I choose a new thing that I'm not tolerating until eventually I guess I just become old. This week what I'm not tolerating in chat is especially within the first 30 minutes of having pivoted to another game, if your message is just the name of another game that I've played followed by a question mark, I think the mods should time you out on site. If we if we start playing Papa's Freezeria and you type like, you know, Dredge, Raven's Watch or something like that, I, th I think you should be, ah, you can't go back to the rooms you came from or the ghost will eat you. I think you should be timed out on site, quite frankly. Oh, never mind. We're okay. Secret room? You know what? Do I have... I don't have any bombs, but maybe... I bet there's a secret room there, because we can see that there's a question mark on the map. Okay, you need what? You need a thousand? Something like that? Cows still be off limits? Here's a thousand. The cows are heading for one heck of a party. Well, I, just, I can't afford anything from your shop, because I just spent all my money, but like... I do appreciate that you opened me up here. 
Now, here's you always gotta test this in every in every roguelite. I got a little friend. Okay, I was thinking you shoot the cows. Is Meet Your Maker still on the table? Don't think that you just found a loophole. That's the same thing. We we just pivoted to a new game. Three seconds in, you're like, uh, meet your maker? <laughs> I know it's more than one word, but like, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm better than this. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I got one balloon left. I'm gonna die. Maybe this treasure chest contains HP. It doesn't. I'm gonna die. Beyond the long night. There you go. The secret to being a good chatter. Type the name of the game we're playing. But I know what you you say when you're a when you're a. I try to avoid it my. I'm dead. <laughs> I try to avoid it myself. But here's the thing: if you gave people a choice between kinetic energy and potential energy, they would give, they would take potential energy any day, because potential energy could be anything. It could even be kinetic energy. Nothing will ever be as good as what you're not watching right now. What you're watching right now is pretty good, but it'll never be as good as what your imagination can concoct as what could be on the screen right now. There's just one little thing getting in your way. I think I've exited my, my hater arc. So I'm going new run. And I am now on, um, I'm on my lover arc. Mostly because when I watch Jay, he plays Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike's still like the most engaging game next to Beyond the Long Night on Twitch. It's like minimum 15 rounds. Something, or I guess it's minimum 8 rounds. Something new happens every single round. People are going... I don't know why, like whenever I watch people play Valorant, they're always going like... Um, there's one mid. Smoke mid, Viper, Viper, can you use your smoke column mid, mid, they're mid, rotating. Whenever I watch people play Counter-Strike, they're always going, whoa, whoa, pew, pew, pew. damn son, where'd you find this, whoa. I know which one I prefer, that's all I'm saying. Okay, let's, first off, beyond the long night, exclamation point, beyond the long night. We're actually going to accomplish something on this run. I'm not going to die due to being stun locked, even though I just got a stun explosion. Close range superpower that stuns nearby enemies. I don't know if he got stunned. It seemed like he was just being polite. Is this the beginning of the CSGO arc? No, the beginning of the CSGO arc was when it came out in 2012. And the end was like roughly 2014. Where should I go? Let's kill that bee. But it is that we're, we're still not even at the beginning of the Counter-Strike 2 arc. I have no idea how long the Counter-Strike 2 arc will be. Possibly uh, one game. Possibly one month. I literally, excuse me, I dodged. I dodged. I, I dispute the damage I took there because I dodged. I give you two days. I think if I play it solo, I could last longer. I can't play it um, co-op because if I play it co-op, I'll be like mad at my friends. Which is not a good look. But if I play a solo and I can get mad at strangers, I think it could last a little bit longer. Also, I, I you could copium this. I would copium it too if I... If I was a chatter, I would copium this as well. Um... However, I think that when Counter-Strike 2 comes out, because it's on Steam and it's going to be free, there's going to be a, a, a little noob rush to begin with. Because a lot of people right now that might play Counter-Strike 2 will not play Global Offensive. Because they're like, you know, let me just put it this way, a Silver 4 in 2014 is not the same uh, skill level as a Silver 4 in 2023. Like, it's it's only 
you know, dudes in their in their mid 30s and older that are like still playing it, and then like 17 year old kids who are going full esports level with black bars on the side of the screen at all times. No, I don't, I don't, you're not gonna get me like that. Okay, nice try. But when it comes out free to play, there might be when CS Go or CS2 comes out free to play, might be a brief, just the briefest window. Oh, that's do you see that? The briefest window of like Christmas noobs, and that could be fun. Anyway, that's that's my thoughts on that. Hey, hey, hey you, excuse me, you get. What, how come your mom lets you shoot and expand to such a prodigious size? Hardly seems fair. Two HP remains. These enemies remind me of uh, the hand enemies from the Adams Family on Super Nintendo. Anybody know what the hell I'm talking about? Dodge parry level one. Okay, I remember dodge parry. It reflects damage. Nobody knows what you're talking about? You tell me you didn't play uh, the Adams Family on the Super Nintendo? It's actually... The, the Adams Family on Super Nintendo is to video games what Super Mario Bros. 1993 is to movies. Like, it has almost nothing to do with the, um, the movie whatsoever. Like, the first Adams Family movie is basically, like, a, a scam. Whoa! Uh, they, they trick Gomez into thinking that Fester's come back from the dead, right? And then once Fester's inside, they rob the Adamses and take all their assets. So, you know, how did they turn that into a video game? It's very simple. Um, Gomez Adams is a last remaining Adams. All of the other members of the Adams family have been kidnapped by monsters, like a, a crazy witch that throws carrots at you and like little hands that crawl along the ceiling and stuff like that. And you gotta uh, jump on top of them until they die and then you save like Pugsley. Don't even get me started on, oh, they've been kidnapped by the monsters. No way you remember the plot. Is this our boss room? Holy cow. Oh, I remember the plot. Hey, something doesn't feel right. Yeah, it looks like the Sacramento Kings just won a game of playoff basketball. A red storm is raging. You'll take damage here. Okay, well, let's leave then. Nice try. Nice try. Who you got in the NBA playoffs? As you know, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big NBA fan. Um, honestly, I think uh, you never count out the Grizzlies, man. Especially with their, they've got such a cracked like top five this year because they got uh, playing power forward and is on shooting guard. He's like one of the top five shooting guards in the league. But then also like on the bench, I mean they've got the sixth man of the year and thing, and like I think that that's in the playoffs you need depth like that. Okay, power to separate body from soul, power to alter faces of stone. The dark mountain beckons once more into the long night. I think we finally, for the first time in history, we found a game I'm bad at. Oh no. Have you been doing that? I wasn't paying attention. You get unfolding story sections in your journal. If it's super duper important, it'll be highlighted in yellow. Now then, what can I do for you? Give me a free superpower that I can forget I have until I'm on one life. It's our shield generator. My journal. Unfolding stories. We're at 9%. See that? We knocked him out of his habitat. He's almost beaten the game. 9%? 1 11th? Okay. Watch out for traps. 
So that the only thing that hits me in this game are traps and enemies. If you took the traps and the enemies out of the game, I would never take damage again. I saw one r slash Vancouver post and it was like being in your stream. Oh, what, what post was it uh, this time? Was it um, every popular restaurant is bad? Cyclists yelling at drivers, drivers yelling at cyclists, pedestrians yelling at cyclists, or was it, um, hang on, I remember how to do this because I'm crazy. The one complaining about rain on the weekends. Okay, that, that's actually fair though. Because like for the last, you, you wouldn't think that it would last this long. It does rain like a lot in Vancouver, obviously, but for the last month, it's been beautiful weather most weekdays. And then the weekends are like 100% rainy. It's crazy. Let me go. I guess I'll take a D-pad ghost. When you lose health, increase the damage dealt by your superpower. My superpower is a shield, you hater! <laughs> oh no! Why can't I open this door? You're, the, the beacon is lit. Sorry, don't forget about the torches. That opens that door. Does this one open the other door? Hang on. It does open this door. Don't even try it, buddy. Nice try. They should just build a glass roof over the bike lanes. I mean, you could just wear, like, a coat. I'm just saying it's annoying, like... I was going stir-crazy this weekend, because last weekend we didn't get... I mean, it was a four-day weekend, which is nice, but also it means that, you know, we're, we're heavily into, like, toddler time. And it's always nice to spend time with your family, don't get me wrong. I thought my dad, my Dodge was, was ready to go. That one's completely my bad. But, like, four... Uh, four-day weekend plus um, like potty training like crazy you just like it, it it helps the time go by faster if you can get outside you know go go for a walk go for a stroller ride go to the playground push her on the swing for a little while like I, I did some arts and crafts this weekend but uh, you know and that, that's pretty good but going to the playground is like undefeated Explosive bullets? Exploding superpowers. Superpowers explode on impact with enemies. I don't know if that's the kind of thing you want on a shield. That's true. It, it has a stacking factor, too, because it also tires them out. And when you tire them out, then they nap longer. Then when they wake up, they're happier. They go to sleep like earlier. They sleep better. It's got... Uh, there's synergistic effects. Not this time, Satan. Not this time, Satan. He's done it. Local streamer discovers exercise is good. Why are you so hateful? It's just an honest question. Okay, hang on, hang on. We can, we can make it. Just like so uncalled for. Like what's, what's wrong with your life that you feel the need to... To put other people down like that. Okay, oh, we gotta get this one too. Oh, okay. No, okay, I can I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. I can solve this. It it rotates the I see. We just have to match them. <laughs> we don't have to shoot them all at the same time. There we go. That one glows. We all glow down here. He's done it. He's done it. Whoa! Raging bullets. Bullet damage increases when your HP is low. As somebody who doesn't take damage, that seems uh, not that important for me. I know, I'm just talking about taking my baby to the park. People are like, this is a great opportunity to get a shot in on a total stranger. It's just insulting, man. Like, I didn't even... What did I do to warrant that? I'm just being a good dad, and I'm like, it's nice to go to the playground sometimes. People are like, oh yeah? 
I bet it is, fatty. Like, what did I what did I do to deserve that? I didn't do anything. I was just talking about being a... There's haters everywhere. Burning bullets. Bullets will now cause burning damage. Why you say fuck me for? I know, I'm, I'm working on my, my 50 cent uh, impression. Oh, the lantern blocked me. Let me guess. This one hits the one on the right. Yeah, okay. And then in there, we can hit the one that hits the one on the left. Okay. I have torches. Do you think it's possible that torches just, like, let you stay lit longer? No, not at all. Um, this is so doable. <laughs> now, to the other side. That one opens that door. And then try to sneak it. Oh! <laughs> I ran into spikes. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't I don't think I got the sauce to be in here. I thought that was a reasonably good attempt. I can be happy with my attempt. And now let's move on and try to get some HP. Oh. That's rough. That's stung. Gotta hit this one. Zerp. I'd like to not die on like the first biome. Yeah, plus if anything, I'm I'm fairly exercise pilled. If anything, I tell chat, like, it's good to get, like, a 10-minute walk-in every day. And they're like, oh, we can't. For reasons. And I'm like, Dude, shut up. It's different for you. If I were in your position, I'd be doing everything right. What? Match him. Match him. Burst me. Burst me. X me? That's, they're all X's. Maybe they shouldn't be X's. They have to be a different... They have to be a different shape. But what shape, though? <laughs> but what shape? I'm just looking at the room. I'm wondering if, if I can fez myself into coming up with the answer here. You know what? I think you're absolutely right. It's got to be those. So this one should be shaped like... Maybe like that. And then this one should be the X. And then this one should be like... Well, just do it until it, it's right. <laughs> hey! He's a genius. That has HP. This should help me. I didn't even read it. Healthy recharge. Recharge your superpower when gaining health. Okay. Can I tell you I've completely forgotten what my superpower is? Shield generator? It is shield generator. Okay. We have two life. That's like more life than I've had on, on almost any run at this stage. We're going yard this time. Is this supposed to be a roguelite? Well, I've died like seven times in 38 minutes. It's either a roguelite or it's dredge. That's it. Are you up to date on AI news? Yeah, because for some reason, like, every time I sign into Twitter, it's, like, um, a bunch of people who are, like, self-certified AI experts. Like, every, every time I go to the Twitter main page, people have not internalized yet how much AI is going to disrupt the world. I'm like, bro, I don't even live in San Francisco, okay? Why am I getting tweets from, like, uh, 
Y Combinator founders 27 times a day serve to me. And I'm like, it's it's crazy. What do you want? Maybe I have maybe I've internalized it. Maybe I haven't. What do you want me to do? Is the only way to show that you appreciate how much AI is gonna change the world to become one of those dudes who tweets about AI all fucking day? It seems like that's uh that's the way it's going right now. Go ahead. Ooh, that was not a dodge that I, I should have done. I honestly thought we weren't going to get tagged there. It's my mistake. I thought our dodge was going to protect us. I made a grievous error. Give me the torch. <laughs> they be coming out pretty fast. You like the smell of sunscreen? I would say I'm, I'm mostly pro the smell of sunscreen. It's my favorite um, Paul Simon song. No, oh, because we have burning bullets, we don't need torches to get through. There's environmental effects. It's we're going. It's it's uh, Noida style. Okay, please give me HP. I need a, I need a health balloon. This guy's gonna give us health. Hundred percent. Sorry, sir. I just had to be sure. <laughs> oh, hey there, Explorer. I made a cool game. Want to play? Great. Hold on to your butt, Explorer. The game is Where Is Me Boat? Where Is Me Boat? Riddle me this. Is the boat in my left hand or my right hand? Your left hand. Wrong. Your left hand. Ha, open your eyes. I haven't got boats in any of my hands. Okay, that'd be one more win for this legend right here. By the way, want to help me find my boat? I lost it in that well over there. I'm going to need your shiny stones. Okay. Any chance you got some, some hit points? He do be going, <laughs> buy this upgrade to discover its effect. Well, the cow in Super Auto Pets gives you um, milk, which is good for your HP. Smelly belly, leave a trail of flammable gas behind you. Enemies who enter the toxic gas will be poisoned. My sap logic has, has broken down. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, he didn't find his boat. That's okay. Not today, Satan. Oh! One balloon. That's all you need. It's got everything the body needs. This is the room that kills me every time. <laughs> I lost my shield, but I lived. You know what? Why don't you just do that? There you go. That's just, just use your bullet, man. Oh! oh! Just kidding. You missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. You gotta just make a straight shot here. Wait for him. Is your character farting? Oh, you think I'm farting for you? I don't know the whole quote, okay? Now don't underestimate these bees. Oh, I underestimated the bee right after I said it. New run me. Not the bees, they're in my eyes, they're in my eyes, etc., etc. I have unfinished business complete. Hey, Crack Dota, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm not clip farming. It's harder than you'd think, okay? Plus, I've realized I'm not taking any flack from gamers anymore after, like, everyone in the Wild Frost reviews is like, this game is too hard. And it's actually just, like, a completely, like, acceptable difficulty. I realized I thought I was bad at games. It's just that I look bad at games. You guys are probably heinous at games if you're about as good as the average Steam gamer. Hit enemies with a powerful blast that knocks them back. Mm. 
HP for next time. Understood. I hate onion rings. Yeah, you mentioned that in chat about 175 times in the last, I would say, 30 minutes. At least that's the, the only ones that uh, I've noticed. It's possible that there were some there before I, uh, before I saw it, I suppose. Can I pick up a rock? It's okay if you hate onion rings. It's just, uh... Oh? I mean, how many times can we go through this discourse, right? Super dodge. It can be sustained by holding down the dodge button. Give me a sword. Increase the damage dealt by your superpower. That's what I said about the grocery store 10 years ago. Well, the grocery store bits, they've been kind of supplanted by the Costco bits now. Costco bit is great because it's kind of like grocery store meets traffic. Good shot. I apologize, I wasn't familiar with your game. I've been now, okay, now I'm, you know what? Let's go down and get that HP that we left behind down there. Sensible decision. It's the most accurate description of Costco ever. I'm telling you. I'm going to Costco later later today. I'm so Costco pill. I'm going to Costco later today, even though we're going to visit my parents for a week, starting this weekend. So I'm buying I'm going to Costco for four days worth of groceries. You know why? Because it brings me physical pain to like occasionally I need stuff that I normally get at Costco. Like, if I run out of cereal midweek, I normally buy cereal at Costco. But I don't want to do a whole Costco trip just to buy cereal and maybe, like, a couple of other things. And, like, going to Costco more than once a week just seems kind of like... Like, you, you've mismanaged your week. So rather than admit that to myself, I'll just go to a different grocery store. But then I'm going to the grocery store and I feel like a freaking idiot. Because so I'm paying, like, the same price for the same cereal, but I'm getting half as much quantity. It's out of control. Like they just, they got the economies of scale, but that's, that's why I keep going back to Costco, that and the executive membership benefits. Galen sends his regards. No, this is a Daryl owned grocery store. Okay, this is what I want. It's, it's, uh, in the Canadian grocery store, uh, Oligopoly. Help me. It's not a Galen Weston joint. It is a, uh, Daryl, whatever his name is, joint. Which is, I always say this, I laugh every time. I've been watching the Canucks games for, I don't know, eight, nine years or something like that. They had, uh, the Save on Foods Score and Win Challenge. If any Canucks player scores four goals in one game, somebody out there wins a million dollars. First couple of seasons, I was like, dude, that's pretty generous. Has not happened. In nine years, it has not happened. I'm sure they're also paying money for the promotion. I'm sure it's not just like, hey, run our ads for our grocery store, and then if someone scores four goals, we'll, we'll give away a million dollars. But like is some of the greatest return on investment for like opportunity cost that's ever existed in marketing, I think. Get smoked. I gotta, we, we initiate with our superpower, I'm learning. Look at this stupid bug is gonna die to the spikes, bro. It's embarrassing, I would never. I think Line A was one away and they sat him for most of the third. Daryl sends his regards. The other thing that drives me crazy about that is like a million dollars makes a huge difference in an individual's life, but it's nothing to Daryl, dude. It's nothing. Probably send, spends that in like yacht mooring fees like uh, once a month. He should give away a billion dollars. Line A's not on the Canucks. Okay, I know you. 
you think you just uh, discovered something crazy, you're going to start posting with like Jamie Saleh on Twitter. I'm telling you, um, I believe that all Western Canadian teams have a similar promotion, okay? So Line A was on the Winnipeg Jets for a while. I try not to bring it up because it's uh, a sore spot for mouth. Or maybe it's not because I feel like... Um, what's the guy's name that they got for him? Pierre-Luc Dubois. I feel like Pierre-Luc Dubois has been okay, but... But what do I know? I don't watch the Jets games. I'm not talking on Winnipeg. I, I support the Jets as a hockey team. I, if I'm dunking on Winnipeg, it's not the team. It's not WPG. I'm dumping on W-I-N-N-I-P-E-G. The city. Also known as the Slurpee capital of the world. I believe is, is Winnipeg's major claim to fame. They have the most Slurpees consumed per capita on Earth. S strange but true. Are you noticing that I'm actually making progress here? Are you noticing that I'm on two life? Are you becoming ashamed of your words and your deeds? I'm noticing an audio cue telling me my superpower is recharged and ready to go. More treasure. I'm unstoppable. Donate 500 to take the health stone. That sounds perfect. I have received the health stone. I chose the health stone. See connections. That's connected to faces of stone. Holy cow, the lore is, is out of control. Reincarnation level one. Gain an extra life. Ooh. And then a bunch of like negative stuff to compensate for, for gaining an extra life. But I'm not going to read all that. Extra life. I'm loaded, bro. It's every day, bro. Oh, man. It is kind of unfortunate to get a, an upgrade like that when you're so good at the game that you never uh, die. But I suppose I'll take what I can get. This time, I'm not going to get hit by any of these. Bouncing bullets. Okay. We're, we're crab champions mode now. Watch this. It's like a mobile video game ad. Can we bounce it off of something in order to light the torch? 100% of uh, students in kindergarten can do this, but only 1% of uh, adults can. Look at that. He's crazy. You're smoked. We should just be shooting like this. Just get him out there. Oh, you really thought um, you thought I was farting for you? Good luck. Oh, nice try. You almost made me uh, sweat a little bit. Just kidding. I never sweat. Unless I'm doing a 30-minute Alley Love feel-good ride. He's dead. He's not dead. He's dead. Always fear the bees. I'm sure you sweat from walking for five minutes. Did I do something to you? Um, <laughs> did I? Have I offended you in some way that I've, my cardiovascular health is being called into question in such mean-spirited attacks today? Let me get the mudstone. Judas Priest voice. Mudstone. Lazy superpowers. Superpowers slow down enemy speed. Okay. It's, it's true, Jay. They are, they're jealous of my, my 50 BPM resting heart rate. Although I will say, I did have some people reach out and say, like, my wife is a doctor. Having a 50 heart rate can actually be indicative of, like, your heart dying. They said, you're probably, in most young active people, having a heart rate that low is fine. But there is a small chance that your heart's just gonna, like, stop. So, like... I, I mean, it was very nice the way they phrased it. But they did also say, like, um... Oh, I could do this. They did also say, like, so maybe bring it up next time you're at your doctor. And I was like, you must live in a different part of the world. My doctor doesn't want to fucking see me. 
sorry, that's an, we should be on the X there. My doctor won't even see me when I'm sick. I can't imagine having the gall to go in there for like preventative medicine. Oh, that is it right there. Ooh. I was talking about it with Kate. And I'm not saying this is a Canada only thing. Because actually we were talking about our in-laws who are doctors. It seems like the best way to actually guarantee that you get good medical treatment is to become a doctor. Not so that you can treat yourself, but so that you can... Nice shot, nice shot. But so that in med school, you meet people who go into every specialization of medicine. And then you can like barter your services to one another using your network. It's true what they say, your network is your net worth. Everyone I'm friends with is already a streamer and like that's valueless. Unless I was like an indie game developer and then I'd be like, hey, can you play my game or something? If you go to med school, I feel like no matter what branch of medicine you go into, you're going to end up meeting like, uh, you know, uh, uh, an endocrinologist and a gastroenterologist and a cardiologist. So instead of going on like a 10 month wait list, you just say, screw everybody else. Uh, hey, let me call up Dave. Dave's an endocrinologist or something. Hey, Bill's a plastic surgeon. Maybe I could get some like... Uh, Maybe I can get my balls shortened, because everyone keeps calling me long balls. Oh, you got long balls? Yeah, 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 we got something for that. We got, it's the, called the Pollock method. Yeah, we can tighten those balls right up. I'm telling you, in it, listen, if you were a normal patient, I would tell you $15,000 for the, the de-elasticized ball uh, thing. And we'd keep you in the hospital for three days. You, in and out, 15 minutes, I'll tell you. No, 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 you just pick up my, uh, my caddy fees next time. Makes me fucking sick, dude. This is completely made up scenario I concocted in my head. Makes me fucking I'm disgusted with the level of corruption and nepotism in this world. Makes me want to throw up. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, they weren't a, they weren't impacted. They weren't impacted by my special. They're Im immov immovable. They can't be stopped. You're too strong. You're not. You're not. You're not the f type of enemy I should be facing at this stage in my life. You're too strong. He's too strong. Look at him. I mean, one of them I could take him out, but like the bees. The bees I can handle. Uh, the, they fly now. Uh, yeah, they fly now. D get out of here, bees. I need to find a gold and treasure chest so I can get some balloons. No, but I get- oh, I got two balloons and I can- oh, no, I got a balloon anyway and I can come back from the dead, you idiot. You just gave me a free win. Oh, man. What the heck is going on here? This is someone who needs to talk to Dave. You need a rock or something. I don't know. Maybe you need a high-heeled shoe. Oh. Sorry? It was honestly like a complete accident. I don't know why you're you're stepping to me when your your ass was just sitting there like literally doing nothing. And now I'm Expected to bear the brunt of the cost for that. Okay. Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll be dead. I'll be dead I've killed you I've received a staggering amount of resources. I Got increased fire rate when shooting but my bullet path has become wonkus and I need to find a way into this room Ah! <laughs> but it's so hard to shoot at the frickin... It's so hard to shoot at the thing I want to shoot at. Um, hmm, let me, let me hydrate here. I wonder what you would look like. I wonder what you would look like. Here, I guess I could just get point blank. I mean, like, I'm... It could it be, like, this two lines? Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, that one doesn't even... It's these ones. Could they all be two lines? Because don't... I mean, this to me looks like it could be two lines, two lines, two lines, two lines. Have I screwed it up? Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. It, those are three lines? Yes, but in the empty space, there's two lines. You got to look at the negative space, like the Minnesota Wild jersey. Well, I'm leaving. There's still three in the negative space. Well, you don't look at all the negative space. Obviously. Get smoked. Oh! You gotta pick and choose what negative space to look at. Get killed. What is that thing? Oh, if you backtrack as much as I do, if you're a completionist like me, um, you, you'll see that ghost from time to time. Whoa there, stop. You're not traveling to the overworld, are you? I'm under strict instructions to not let anyone exploring through. Pesky little critters are always trying to scurry past us. First you have to travel through the Forbidden Temple, then shiver your way up Hope's Peak, and then finally the Sanctuary. We're sworn to protect the Sanctuary. To protect the Dark Mountain from anyone trying to shimmy into the overworld. Now then, no slippery lies. No, I don't explore. The Forbidden Temple is up ahead. Okay, no exploring. I, I, speech 100, I own you. You get out of my face. You get out of my, you get, you get out of my face. You get out of my face. I don't even know who's me, who's them, who's me, who's them. You're dead. I'm crazy. Okay. What's up with these spikes though? We know exactly what's up with these spikes, brother. Look at that. Okay, you, you, you carve yourself a little safe corner. You blast them. I mean, we've, we've made it to the second biome. For me, today, holy cow, that was... Shot speed up is a useless upgrade. Serial, never mind. Today, second biome is success. I know Dan played this too. Don't, don't mess with me. How did Dan do? Are we, are we better or worse than Dan's performance? I'm a little worried for Dan's uh, like rebirth as an esports gamer arc because it's like now that he's gotten 7.99 in Spelunky, it's like I mean he's accomplished something that that very very few people ever have. Second biome, but not very far. I will say though, it's not fair to be the uh, the second person to do it. Is it's, we're coming back. We're coming back. Excuse me? We're not coming back? Oh, we already used our resurrection? Son of a... Next time. Next time. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a few more runs here of Beyond the Long Night. It just came out today. You can check it out for yourself on Steam! Exclamation point Beyond the Long Night. I trust you, you don't need spell check, you can get it done. I think we're gonna unlock another hat here, that's all I'm saying. Give me a superpower, we sort of figured it out. What do you got for me? Glass heart, temporarily gain one HP, you lose the temporary health after a short period of time or when you take damage. While this effect is active. Your bullets are additionally affected by your superpower upgrades. Okay. God, I wish that were me. It could be you, if you exclamation point long night. Beyond the long night. We received a bomb. You could use a bomb to find secret rooms. What a shot. He's insane at gaming. Stop calling me long balls. I don't, I don't have long balls. 
My balls are a perfectly average size. In length. You see the video? Because a, a tweet came out that was... Uh, they're casting a new James Bond, and you can expect it to be a relatively unknown man in his 30s. And then someone said, God, I hope it's this guy. And it's a guy uh, making a video in his bedroom. And he, uh, he says, all right, I'm going to teach you how to play the James Bond chord. You know, it's like when the movie James Bond that always plays after he says something really cool. And it, it's like... Uh, Hey, 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 James Bond's being a barber. Okay, here, why don't you come in and get your hair cut? Just kidding, you wanker. I'm not a barber. I'm James Bond. They're gonna blow your bloody head off. Bring. Actually, like an all time insanely amazing video. I'd never seen it before. I've been told that it's been around for a while. I've, I had never seen that before, but. Man, oh man, it got me good. You know what? I'll, I'll do you a solid and hope that that person is not litigious. James Bond Cord. This sweary James Bond tutorial might be the... You know what? I should just... <laughs> Librarian, maybe you can handle that one. I don't know what he says. He might say some words that are more bad than I'm comfortable saying, so... I don't know because he's British, so he's speaking British English. I don't know. Sometimes the words that are offensive there aren't offensive here or vice versa. Like, it's, it's, all, it's all mixed up. You got something for me? I felt like you might have something for me. I have given my bullets my uh, superpower ability, which is giving my bullets my superpower ability, so I've created an infinite recursion. Don't disrespect the beast. They get big and then they shoot. What the heck is that? Nice try. I need to either get superpower upgrades or replace my superpower immediately. I have no initiation. I'm just, uh, I've got to rely on my own wits and my own skills, which is not good. That's not advantageous for me. Oh, excuse me. Fire rate up. Yo, finally one I can understand. I did see that, that Germa streamed Papa's Freezeria. And I'm sure I don't even have to ask that um, everyone in his chat was like, why are you playing this NL game, right? I'm sure, I'm sure it wasn't the same people in his chat that are in my chat. And then saying uh, they were just typing lols and plus twos. Surely somebody had to let him know that, that he was stealing an NL bit when he said, okay, Boomer, ha ha ha, when Boomer showed up to order an America-themed milkshake. Right, right? The difference is that people like Germa. What the hell did I do, man? What did I do? Hang on. You're a secret room, probably. Is this thing ever going to blow up? Oh. I, oh, I can blow it up in the air. Blow it up in the air. It's going to be a secret room. <laughs> I'm out of here. Clearly, I'm missing something. Clearly, I don't know what's going on. You shot me. I always say you gotta pay attention to the bees, then I do not be paying attention to the bees. I can give you 500 for some kind of stone. I will take the wind stone, also known as uh, kidney beans. Healthy recharge. When we get HP, we recharge our superpower. 
Yo, but my superpower doesn't do anything right now. I'm in trouble, dude! These guys are too strong! You gotta divide and conquer. I can't fight like a red insect right now. They're too strong. Fire rate up level two. Holy cow. I'm gonna be shooting like a like a madman. Okay, we gotta if we beat Biome 2, we officially clear Dan. We're the better gamer. Thank you for the gems. My favorite room. Look at that. Dodge parry. We can deflect bullets. Dan played less, though. I'm sure we're supposed to play the same amount, but 10% uh, of my stream on average is in troubleshooting difficulties. So, okay, that was unnecessary. We didn't need to go that hard. I'd like to apologize to Dan. I just, I, I was offended by the comment. I thought I would turn it into a joke, but maybe it, it hit a little too close to home, okay? Leave that out of the clip. Leave that out of the clip. Drag him. Dan's been nothing but a, a gentleman to me. Except when he asked me, oh, like your cat, your cat's pee smells bad. Why don't you just stop feeding them food that smells bad? But that's just classic Daniel memory. That's, uh, that's not BM. There was no secret room. There was just, it was a one entrance door. Ooh, another stone. I'll take the second wind stone, please, just to upgrade our existing wind stone. Never mind. It's fire rate up low. James Bond? I'm not uh, a barber. I'm James Bond. I'll blow your bloody head off. Classic video that I have seen for the first time recently. your bond I knew your bond so true you think it's really gonna be a relatively unknown man in his 30s though or do you think it's gonna be like Chris Pratt come on man I'm James Bond wahoo okie dokie Daniel Radcliffe? He'd be a pretty sick James Bond, because like the, he's got guns glued to his hands, right? Be kind of sick. Anyway, that's about all I got. Idris Elba? Mm, no, you know who would be a great James Bond? I'm thinking uh, Rebel Wilson. W W. That's that's one of the biggest W's I've ever gotten. I think uh, Rebel Wilson would be probably one of the James Bonds of all time, and I think she's got the chops for it. I mean, we've seen a lot of comedians cross over into dramatic work, so I think that, like, honestly. Who needs a dramatic actor when instead you could get a comedic actor cheaper and then just turn them into a dramatic actor via an incredible script? Should be like, yeah, can I get a martini, please? Very good, madam. Uh, garçon? Yeah, can I get that shaking and not stirred? <laughs> Yeah, because I don't like when it's stirred. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I'm trying to... I'm working on my Rebel Wilson impression. I think it's going to really pop in my next uh, stand-up special. You kind of got the voice? She's always like... My impression of Rebel Wilson from her films is that she's always like pretending to be reticent to say something that's mean. She's like, yeah, I don't know how to tell you this, but... 
you smell it. And then like her comedian partner would say like, what we're trying to say is you smell like eggs. Yeah, you got a bit of an, like an eggy smell. It's an egg type aroma. It's a bit ovoid. You know what I'm saying? So it's, that's, that's the vibe. And you already know the vibe. It did turn in them. Well, Michael Caine is, is her partner in this one. Have you met my daughter? <laughs> That's not Michael Caine. Who is that? What are you doing in here? Dad? Okay, honestly, I just, I can't beat you. You're just, you're, you're too good. Two upgrades though. Holy cow. Lazy bullets. Bullets slow down enemies. Oh, immortal superpower. Damage one. When immune, your superpower damage is multiplied by the level of this upgrade. Stop you right there, brother. I'm not sure I have the mental acuity to know what that means. My name is Michael Kane. This is my daughter, Rebel Wilson. Yeah, I'm his. I'm his daughter. He's kind of. I'm a dad. He's kind of like got a father thing going on with me. Yeah. Okay. Time to take damage. Just kidding. I'm amazing. I'm making insane progress. Time to retire this bit. Well, I, I'm very excited to announce I've just been cast as James Bond and I'm gonna be doing that voice the whole time. It will have a seven out of 100 on Rotten Tomatoes, which roughly translates to an 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb, which will make it uh, the 13th best reviewed James Bond movie of all time. Okay, yeah, you, 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 honestly, I see. I see that you can shoot bullets really well, okay? You're better than me. Does it make you, does it make you happy to bully me like that? As long as they only spawn one enemy at a time, we're chilling. We're so back. You should become an ex. Rebel Wilson telling you you have to break up with your current uh, partner. Yeah, you should become less like boyfriend and more like... What she's trying to say is you should become an ex. You become like ex-like, like... Like more, less like this, and more like, more like that. Um, give me long mushroom. Every time you run out of usable superpower ammo, swap your superpower with a different one. Wait a minute, this could be everything that the body needs. The music is like so hopeful, but. I know that, oh my god, what the hell? I can't do that, are you crazy? I'm gonna die. I, I, I can't handle that. I'm getting hit by, I don't even know what I'm getting hit by. I'm okay. I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm dead. I thought that that thing would, obviously it's not gonna open up, you need it to be shot to open it up. This is the one. I thought I was just gonna go straight through. Michael Caine as her father paves the way for Batman vs. 007. What a movie! Take my explorer's hat, please. I'm not Superman. You bloody wanker, I'm James Bond, I'm gonna blow your bloody head off! Great video. Okay, give me a good superpower this time. Sword. That seems good. Bullet Storm. Okay, then some superpower synergies, and we're... I mean, we might go Jamie Lee Curtis mode. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you all died? What a sad story. Well, then don't step to me next time. 
I'm out of here. You know what I'm learning? This is a game where you gotta keep your distance. From me, because I'm a dangerous man. Nice try. This is what I would say if you had done a nice try, but instead you died to me without offering much resistance at all. And, uh... I don't respect people who don't bring their A-game, okay? That's why I root for the Vancouver Canucks. You left the chest behind? It's got bad stuff in the chest. Nothing good in that chest. I'll go back and open it just so you can see. Look at that. What is that? Healthy recharge? That requires me to get HP, and I don't take any damage. As a result, um... That's a useless upgrade for me. So, maybe for you, like, there would be some value there. But for me, see, like, I haven't taken damage, so I can't, I can't pay, even pick that up. Don't, don't shoot your bullet at me, you piece. Personally, I prefer healthy discharge. What are you, my gynecologist? After taking damage, generate a shield that wears off. Recharging your superpower will extend the life of your shield. Understood? Mine is two and gross. Maybe you missed the part where I said it's healthy discharge? How could, how could it be gross when it's healthy discharge? Okay, we just made that look easy. That doesn't make it less gross. I think it makes it less gross. If it was like infected discharge, that'd be way worse. Watch, just as soon as I said that, everyone in chat's gonna go, Ew! That is true. We talk about piss all day. Piss and cum, shit and boners. And everyone's like, ah, well, oh, obviously NLS, that's so funny. We mentioned discharge one time. People are like, disgusting! I'm not your gynecologist, I'm James Bond, I'm gonna blow your buddy head off! <laughs> so true, so true. Things that are true, this. Oh, I was going to talk trash. How long does the shield last, man? L long enough to party, that's for sure. You know what? But I have health back. Oh! Only discharge I got is discharge on my credit card for $362 from Costco. Would you buy like an industrial pack of ribeyes? It's pretty funny though. I'll give you I'll give you a plus two on that one. Quite humorous. Still not enough to break even on the savings, bro. You never break even on the savings. How would that? Then they'd be paying you to shop at the store. Like, how does that even? That's an unrealistic standard to hold a corporation to. That you're going to save more money on the shopping at the store than you're going to spend at the store. It doesn't make any sense. Superpowers cause burning damage. I respect it. Hey, honey, wake up. Costco's doing their money sale today. You can buy $100 for $70 today. Come on in. There's my HP, man. There's my HP. I gotta this a long I gotta go the long way. Don't they literally do that though? Well, you can do it with gift cards, but it's not the same as money. I mean it's the same as money like when you're paying for food in the restaurant, but you would probably value a one hundred dollar Chili's gift certificate a lot less than a hundred dollars unless you're uh insane. <laughs> Cause I don't, you know, I don't pay my taxes in Chili's gift cards. I pay them in Apple iTunes gift cards.
me buying ten thousand dollars in Cactus Club Cafe gift cards to pay the Canada Revenue Agency. No, their dude, their email address was Canada Revenue at hotmail.ca. Like I don't it's pretty official. I needed that. I need I lost focus for a second. I needed that help. Thank you. They're talking about breaking even on the membership? Yeah, you're not going to break even on a, a the membership with one trip to Costco. It's like le least entitled uh, shopper of all time. I paid off my credit card bill once and I can't even afford uh, uh, my flight to Japan on points. Like it's, uh, you know, it's a process. I just literally walked into the enemy. I deserve everything that's coming to me. Don't even talk to me. I'm starting to run right away. It is true. The Canada Revenue Agency is going on strike. First, I saw that they were going on strike. And then I saw that there was a... Um, uh, they released a press release that was like, even though we're going on strike, you still have to pay your taxes uh, on time. And I was like... I mean, I did. But at the same time, it seems like... You can't fool me. Who's gonna look? Chat GPT? Cow me? I fart, right? I have a fart superpower? No, for the sponsor. I'm not advocating that my viewers participate in... It's, it's not tax fraud. It would be simply not paying your taxes. I don't know what that's called. Tax fraud is like, you know... I made a million dollars, but I told them that I lost a million dollars. Not paying your taxes. I think you could just be like, if they were like, hey, you got to pay your taxes. Why didn't you pay your taxes? You'd be like, oh, sorry, I forgot. What are they going to do? Hit you with like penalties that ruin your life forever? Probably. I don't know. I think you should do your taxes probably. I'm not a Donald Rumsfeld guy. Did you ever see the um, the letter that Donald Rumsfeld sent to the IRS? It was basically, the, the letter basically says, um, Hey, I'm Donald Rumsfeld. I've signed and uh, return, given you my tax return and paid the amount listed, even though I have no confidence that the numbers here are right. This is because the tax code is so unscrutable that it's effectively impossible for any individual without an accounting degree to possibly understand how much they actually are supposed to pay and owe. I should note my wife has also signed and returned the tax return. She also admits that she has no confidence that she's actually paying you the right amount. Thank you for your time. Hey, whoa, whoa, I was, I was bantering! Don't you be twice on the same room and then... Oh my god, you know, just kill me, just kill me. I gotta run it back. You gotta, you gotta kill me. I, I, that's just such a horrible start. The bees, the bees every time. I had to hold R on that one. I didn't say just don't pay taxes. All I'm gonna say is when I was in the fourth grade, they, uh, the teachers went on strike and my ass did not go to school. That's all I'm saying. Get stunned, stunned and owned. Working class hero. <laughs> My mom's like, hey, do you want to go to, like, computer camp? Excuse me, mom. This is me in 1995. 
I ain't no scab. You really think I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, scab my teachers out like that? I think you'll find that I'll be going to grandma and grandpa's house and going outside and uh, practicing my softball pitching six hours a day by underhand windmilling it into that 45 degree net that then bounces it back at you. That's my fourth grade. Fourth grade was actually, it was pretty sick. I don't want to brag, but there was like, um, I, I don't know the exact order of these because it was like almost 30 years ago now which is kind of a crazy thing to say. But um, in the same year, there was a teacher strike, and I recall it being like two weeks long. And then also, there's a very famous uh, Ontario and Quebec weather event called Ice Storm 97, which was all basically like the entire, bo both provinces completely froze over and mostly lost power for like between one week and a month. And that also meant that schools were closed forever. Maybe that's why I don't understand, like, what the subject and the predicate of a sentence are. Because, like, I'm pretty sure in fourth grade, I went to school for, like, I don't even know, like, two months? <laughs> Something like that? If you'll excuse me. Right there. Thank you. Opens this up. Nice try. You're gonna shoot that until it makes the right icon. He's a genius. No, 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 I don't think so, buddy. I got a little lad following me around. There's other gaps in my knowledge, though. Um, I remember my, uh, my math teacher in 10th grade, or maybe it was 11th grade, but he went on paternity leave for like a month and we had the same substitute teacher for a month, which makes sense. So there was some continuity, but I think like maybe my teacher was really swamped. So we didn't really give him like a lot of lesson planning. So we did the same lesson on foil every single day for a month and like the same pages out of the workbook. You know, foil when you have an expression that has two bracketed expressions, so you multiply first by outside, by inside, by it's, et cetera, et cetera. We did that for like a month straight. And every day we would go to uh, class and be like, what are we learning about today? And he'd be like, oh, we're gonna do some more work on foil and factoring. And we'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> Increase superpower ammo, okay. Actually, now that I think about it, I had a lot of situations like that. In, uh, in 10th grade in Ontario, you had to take half a semester of careers class. You know, which is a great idea. I mean, like a lot of things, I think it's a great idea in practice to actually give like some practical knowledge of like where you might want to go with your life. But mostly they were just like, hey, if your average is like over 80, you should probably go to university. And if your average is under 80, you should get into like a lucrative trade. Listen, anyway, this is neither here nor there. Regardless, um, my teacher was like 85 years old. And uh, one day he came to class with like an eye patch. And we're like, what's wrong? And he said he got a detached retina. And then the next day he did not come to class. And the substitute teacher was like, yeah, your teacher is going to be out of commission for a month. And the so half semester classes are only like six weeks long. So all we did for like the rest of the month was watch these like training videos for jobs that the videos were filmed in like the 1970s. You know, like when you get a job and they're like sit in this room and they wheel out the middle school uh, VHS and TV and then they like put in a tape that's, you know, like some dude getting flattened by a forklift. We watched probably like a hundred of those. I've gotten the blade stone, by the way. Ooh. When immune, your bullet damage is multiplied by the level of this upgrade plus one. Plus one, they said. The forklift incident. I, I genuinely thought I was gonna right click and be fine, but I've, I've made mistakes. 
I, I didn't even see this bee coming. There you go. Drop a fart cloud on him. You're okay. We're okay. We're living for it. We took a little damage. We've recovered. We're smart now. I feel like every Canadian around my age is insulated a little bit from the, um, the horrors of workplace safety videos because of all those ads that aired on Canadian TV. That it would start and it would just be like a normal commercial for like, you know, anti-diarrhea medicine or something like that. And then a, a woman carrying a boiling pot of oil would slip on something and pour all the oil on her face and just start screaming. You haven't lived until you've gone to see, you know, like, Spider-Man 2 at the movie theater, and then there's an ad for, like, a Nissan Pathfinder, and then three seconds later, it's like, Hey! I'm, uh, I just got this job, and I'm helping to support my family. I don't know that five seconds from now, my head's gonna get stuck in the trash compactor and... Oh, save me! Save me! Never forget that trip to Cineplex Odeon. You know what? Those ads made me understand... Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. They made me understand how precious life is. Which honestly made me think that maybe I should download a car. Because you never know how much more time you got on this God's green earth, right? Maybe I would download a purse. What about the man made of Skittles? I seem to recall a, a man made of Skittles. I seem to recall that. Lots of great Canadian ads. Everybody's good at something. Nobody's good at everything, but everybody's good at something. Then some kid would be like, I'm really good at skating. And then they skate really fast. And then like another kid would be like, I'm really good at making dinosaur noises. And you're like, brother, you got a long road in front of you. The guy who's good at skating, I mean, like that's just not fair. As a dad, being good at dinosaur noises is probably pretty important. Oh, I tried to dodge! Run me back. Dinosaur noise guy probably manages a, a hedge fund now. Another classic TikTok. Business majors when they realize they only have 10 more minutes before they have to turn in their coloring sheet. <laughs> Every once in a while, this is not me, this is, I'm paraphrasing from Twitter. Every once in a while, someone will post a photo from business class and there's always something on the whiteboard like uh, profit equals revenue minus costs. I still don't understand that meme. They're saying that business school is easy. But listen, everybody, everybody's gangsta until um, you have to explain what EBITDA is. It really is easy. Yeah, but you know what's not easy? Nah, me neither. Try explaining the mitochondria? They should be making energy, man. That's where, like, all the... If I had to guess, as someone who has a four years uh, Bachelor's of Science honors in biology, my guess is that the mitochondria is where the Krebs cycle takes place. Sorry, the oxalate acidosis cycle. I think Krebs got canceled. Oh, I didn't even... Did I take this? What, 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 what have I done? What have I done? I vaporized him? The Krebs cycle? Malf asking me when I'm going to play Krab game. Me saying I'm not going to play Krab game. Um, I'm using my health to do that. I would like a refund on the HP that I just spent. Give me the five year cumulative annual growth rate for this company. Here's the real question is like, who cares? <laughs> I'll do the five year cumulative annual growth rate for that stock ticker. When you prove that 
Uh, knowing the five-year cumulative annual growth rate helps you outperform the S&P 500 consistently over a long enough time scale, you piece. Here's your key to being a stock analyst. Um, if the stock is going up, call it a buy. And then if the company comes out with like bad news, just adjust downwards and be like, oh, sorry. No, actually, what we meant to say is we're underweight this right now. Goldman Sachs hates him. One simple trick to never be on the wrong side of... Anyway. Whoops. You didn't get the chest? Excuse me? Oh, I, I, I've only shot it one time, didn't I? Only broke half the chest. What were they thinking? I just find stocks and they're going up and then uh, I look at the graph and then I just, I sell them like right here. And that's pretty much how, how we fund our whole lifestyle. And the best part about it isn't even the money. It's that, oh, thank you for the HP. The best part about it is that like we have more time to do whatever we want. I remember in business class, we simulated buying stocks, but they gave us info about what would happen. So it was just insider trading. Wait, but how do your business class professor know what was going to... How did they have insider information? Or was it like, hey, there's stock... Um, there's like fictional steel corp, fictional corn growing corporation. It's a, oh, it's a fake stock market? People aren't ready for this one. It's fun, but they should stop. Mm, again, I'm a biology major. I'm not a business major. I don't want your, I'm not your dad. I knew your dad. I don't want your like whole educa education to be called into question. But they should stop doing those like, hey, um, we're going to simulate this real stock market or we're going to use <clears throat> fake money in the real stock market for three months. And like whoever performs the best will get a little bonus on their grades. Because this that's not... I almost swore a little bit there. You're not incentivizing good behavior. You're incentivizing going all in on zero day to expiry options. Cause like in the in the course of a rel like one semester, like who uh, you're not a tree, you're an enemy. Who like who knows what's gonna happen? It's irrelevant. You're basically just like rolling like a a D thirty and being like, hey, Great job, Billy. You picked a biotech company that nobody's ever heard of. And wouldn't you know it, they're like anti-low-density lipid cholesterol drug got approved by the FDA. How'd you do it? I don't know. Uh, the stock was 15 cents uh, a share. So I thought that that meant that it had a lot of upside. Gr great thinking. Great thinking. I'm going to die. Just kill me. Just start me over again. I, I can't. I need to start with full HP. I'm... <clears throat> the bees, dude. The bees. Okay, we got one more good one in us. Just watch the burning oil safety video. It really is brutal. It's metal up here. You, you wouldn't survive life in the mech. The mech's a cruel mistress. You gotta treat her right. This time. Give me a superpower that doesn't hurt me. How about that? That's a good start. Laser focus. That's ironic. Aim and shoot a laser beam. Time is slowed while aiming. How about this? Ooh, get zapped on. You ready for this? Whoops, I thought that would last a little longer. That's my mistake. Okay, this actually seems like an insane... Superpower. They do be giving us brimstone. I do be wasting it a little bit, but you know what? Okay, it's it's over. Like we're actually we're we're probably gonna beat Biome 2 here. We're probably gonna end up going overtime if I had to guess, because like I don't I don't see myself losing with this one. Bees, public enemy number one. 
these eyes are crying? Nah, man. These eyes are crying. Because they've seen a lot of lows, but they're never going to see another one like they saw with me. Dee 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 dee. You stay away from me. Oh! It's like fishing with dynamite. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on down. Oops. Thank you so much. Oh, you mother. <laughs> you listen to me. You're just a bum 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 bum. Who the bees? No, 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 no. We're not going out like that this time. Continue to move in a circle. Charge up your laser beam. Save your laser beam for the most annoying of all the enemies. Uh, these are the most annoying of all enemies. They didn't even die in one hit. Oh my god, they're, they're impossible to kill. They're the strongest enemies that have ever been created on Earth. Bouncing bullets. Nice try. Get lasered. I have two HP left. Dude, this room is too tough for them to not give me HP in the golden chest. That's my two cents. Or the silver chest. Oh, baby. Look, dude, they gave us full HP. Not you! I... It's all right, we got four HP. Don't, don't get suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Get blasted. Oh, thank you so much. Honestly, it's, I like you half as much as, tw as twice as many of you deserve. Increased immortality. Time spent after losing health is increased. Well, you don't like Bilbo Baggins? He's only three feet tall, and yet Bilbo... Bilbo Baggins, he's the greatest little hobbit of them all. Oh, God! He's Nimoy posting. He's Nimoy posting. Don't, don't. Oh, they got me again! There's no place to dodge because everything's covered in spikes! Bro, bro! Can you get out of my face, please? I can't remember anything else about the Bilbo Baggins song. It just immediately becomes the monster mash in my head. Like, he's the greatest little hobbit of them all. I was working in the lab late one night when I looked up and saw such a dreadful fright. And then that's even worse, because I can't think about the monster mash without thinking of... Um, how the guy on Comedy Bang Bang comes on every Halloween and just sings like the most vile pornographic version of the Monster Mash every year. And Justin plays the song on, on his stream all the time. <laughs> it was the fuck. It was a monster fuck. It was a graveyard fuck. It's just, it's vile. Please God. Give me the sh give me the give me the windstone. My movement speed has been increased. It actually seems very relevant. People, are, oh no, the sponsor. What you think the Yogs cast has never sworn? I'm not I'm not fully familiar with their entire body of work. But I'm sure, like, at one point, they went, oh, shit, that's Hero Brian or something like that. You know? You're, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me just because you don't have to swear? Like, the same way Marky Mark in his, uh... Oh, you piece of junk. The same way in Good Vibrations, he spells out druggy and says it's not for me. D-R-U-G-G-I-E is not the lifestyle for me. Feel the... Come on, feel it, feel it. You know what I'm saying? Feel the good vibrations. 
I'm dead. I'm dead. I have I have one balloon left. It's over. We're so back. We're so back. Did you see that dodge? We're so back. Stay away from me, you piece of garbage. I'd like to trigger this trap. Thank you so much. I need HP. No, I don't try to dodge it though. Okay, we got one more, one more. You're, someone in chat said, personally, I prefer the Bee Gees, sorry, the, the Beach Boys, Good Vibrations. That's bold. You really think that um, Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys is better than Good Vibrations by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Come on. I do have to say, I'm, I'm very, uh, I would even say, over the years I've come to become anti-Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Obviously, he's, he's done some stuff in the past that is uh, obviously objectionable. However, I wouldn't say I separated the art from the artist. But if you had asked me in 2013 how I feel about Mark Wahlberg as an, as an actor, I would have been like, most of the time I see him in a movie, I'm like, I like what he's doing in the movie, okay? But then there was the quote about how if he was on the planes, it wouldn't have gone down like that, which is just insulting to the people who were on the planes. And then I saw that uh, one episode of the HBO TV show where he's like running his business and then the pandemic hits and his business is literally selling t-shirts. And he's like, this is ridiculous. Like this is gonna destroy I mean, He was basically his business is, he was struggling to launch his new business because the pandemic happened. And I was like, Obviously, it affected everyone, but at the same time, brother, you're Mark Wahlberg. Like, do I, do I really care that, like, oh, hey, yeah, I know a lot of people are getting sick right now and, like, losing their jobs on top of that, but, hey, what about Mark Wahlberg? Already extremely well-off Mark Wahlberg's t-shirt business. What about his new t-shirt business? That all being said, this was all a setup to me saying, I actually feel like Good Vibrations goes kind of hard. It's not as good as the Beach Boys Good Vibrations, but it's, I still feel like this. It's something about the, it's got that very like late 80s, early 90s, dun, 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 in the background. Like the, the, the chunky electronic keyboard. Also, he sounds like a, like the person in a main menu of a Sega Dreamcast game. Whenever he's not actually rapping in the song. Like when he's just doing the stings in the background. He, come on, come on! Feel it, feel it! Like it sounds like something that the... Like the announcer in Dungeons and Dragons would say to... Or not Dungeons and Dragons, sorry. Dance Dance Revolution would say to you. While you got like a sick combo. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, he sounds like the announcer in SSX Tricky. That's perfect. Is that from the 1900s? Suppose so, yeah. Honestly, I, I don't, I've, I've no longer felt, like, uh, annoyed when really young people, and I mean, this is crazy, but I would say really young for me at this point, if you were born in the 2000s, like, you're, I don't know what the opposite of old as dirt is, you're like young as soil, <laughs> you're young as, a, as, an, uh, as an annual plant, but like, when they say something snarky like that, oh, was that in the 20th century? Was that last millennium? Was that in the 1900s when that happened? It was, and honestly, you should be feeling the FOMO, to put it in terms you can understand, that you missed it. I'm sure the 90s were not all like peaches and cream if you weren't, 
in your like age two to t 12 like I was. But I got some very fond memories of the 1990s. I'm sure you'll have, if you were born in 2000, I'm sure you got some very fond memories of, you know, like 2000 to 2015 or whatever. Apparently I'm incapable of doing like basic mathematics right now, but I have the opposite of like the, the the wrong generation. I'm like, I think I was born in like a, I don't know if it was the rightest, but I'm certainly not like, oh, I, kids these days don't know how good they got it. I'm like, bro, we didn't know how good we had it. Yeah, if anything, I guess it makes me an optimist. It's the first time I've ever heard anyone say the wrong generation. What, you don't watch uh, YouTube music videos? You don't watch Simple Plan music videos? Why is Canadian rent so expensive? Listen, I don't even want to... It's a complicated problem is the first thing I'll say. The second thing I'll say is I think I... My new philosophy is that you're just... Housing prices never go down, including rent. No matter what they do, they always go up. They zone for more density, more places get built, more businesses come in. People go, that's a nice neighborhood. I want to live there. Demand goes up. Prices go up. They say, you can't build anymore. You can't build any more houses here. They say, oh my God, there's no more houses there. Supply goes to zero. Demand rate re remains consistent. The prices go up. It's no matter what. It always, uh, it just goes up. I think in North America... We just, what we need to, I was going to say is what we need is f a cultural shift so that not everybody feels like they have to own a house. But even if that happened on like a cultural level and people were like, no, I'd be fine renting my whole life. If houses, pr housing prices went down, some of those motherfuckers would be like, Finally, I've been waiting for this. Nom, 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 And then the housing prices would go right back up, man. There's no way out. Hang on. It's the hardest puzzle in video game history. He's done it. He's doing it. They, you threw me for a loop with that one, honestly. He, and people say I'm stupid. I have beaten the stupid allegations. Reflect the shooting pattern of the buddy. Well, hello, buddy. Sounds like it shouldn't be for profit. Listen, I agree that like that would be nice. But also, like, why don't you sell me your house for what you paid for it then? Because <laughs> you know what's going to happen if you put your house on the market for what you paid for it? I'm gonna, the open house is going to have a uh, hundred motherfuckers like me there that are like, holy shit, look at this cheap house. And then we're going to get in the bidding war. This shit's going to go for like ten times what it's actually worth. What we need is just the government to say, at birth, the government says, your assigned house, it'll be like Harry Potter. You have been assigned to North Battleford, Saskatchewan. Here's your house. You have to live in it for your entire life. That's the secret, man. NL solves the housing crisis. You get a free house you have to live in it, and you have to prove that you that you are living in it. You can trade the houses one for one, but you can't trade them for money. You have to exclusively do like-for-like uh, -like transactions. He's a genius. Can you just shoot again and then turn this into the right thing? Thank you. 
Who's going to trade a Vancouver house for a Saskatchewan house, though? I don't know. Maybe someone gets traded from the BC Lions to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Me, me, when I'm in the NBA draft and the Orlando Magic have the first pick, but my assigned house is in Honolulu. No! Whoops. There you go. That's okay. It's just a short, like, 17-hour uh, flight to work every day. Oh my god, I, I, can you believe that I'm still alive? I've also beaten the bad at the game allegations. I can't believe it. I know, right? It's kind of... I'm, I'm surprised with myself here. I need to go down into the into the lava real quick just to get out. Don't shoot me. I'm I'm leaving. I don't want to stay here either. Don't flatter yourself. Everything's on fire. I'm going to I'm just getting deeper and deeper into it, aren't I? I'm at a dead end. Here it comes. <laughs> Bro, let me out. Let me out, dude. I have to go to the left because I gotta I gotta find a way to get up. I, I had I had exhausted all of my available opportunities where I was. Get me out of here! Oh, I gotta shoot this one. Thank you so much. I'm not, I'm not, I did take damage, I did. What is, oh no, it's the bees. I got one balloon. Give me HP. That's not HP. I'm going down. I'm going left because you ain't treat me right. Can we get a bet, by the way, on whether Mouth actually thought all the single ladies was a Nicki Minaj song? Because I think that he only pivoted to that being a joke after he realized that it was a Beyonce song. <laughs> and don't sound superior to mouth, okay? Because some of you in chat, I saw someone say WAP. Nicki Minaj is not on that track. That's a Meg The Stallion track featuring Cardi B. There's two artists, none of them are, are Nicki Minaj. By the way, this is Beyond the Long Night. It just came out today, exclamation point, Beyond the Long Night. Go check it out for yourself. You'll find it in Twitch chat. If you type exclamation point, Beyond the Long Night, if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the video description below. Thank you again to Yogscast Games for the sponsorship. Dave, what do you title this video? They've made the hardest roguelite of all time. I'm sorry, they have made a, a roguelite I, they will never make a roguelite that I can't beat. Cereal emoji, guy spitting out cereal. You've bested me. Let me get a slash marker there. Beyond the long night. Name an ice spice song. That boy's a liar, part two. 